Welcome to ZK2 India official YouTube channel. Today I am going to explain about F19 standalone device. This device is majorly used for the access purpose as well as the attendance purpose. It is having 30,000 usage capacity. We can add 3,000 uh, fingerprint, 30,000 card, and uh, also we can check the password for the verification. And it is able to store the 1 lakh transaction capacity. This device requires 2 level power supply to run the device. For the communication, it is having TCP IP, RS-485, VGAN and also supports USB and uh, Wi-Fi is optional. We can connect this device with the ZKTK EM lock exit button and uh, RS-485 and VGAN reader for the access purpose. You can see the device. Uh, we have provided it the 2.4 inch of uh, TFT color screen display and uh, this is the keypad and this is the MR OK button for the main menu and uh, this button for the exit uh, upward and downward arrow left and right arrow and uh, you can see uh, this is the bell button we can use the device for the uh, calling bell purpose we have to connect with the external uh, bell so we can use this button as a calling bell this is the fingerprint sensor to read the fingerprint and uh, it is also having the card sensor here to read the card you can see here this is the USB port where we can put the USB to take the data and here we have provided a reset button to do the device reset. Here in the back side, here many ports are there. So uh, this port we have provided for the TCP IP uh, connector and uh, this port for the VGAN connection and uh, this port for the EM lock and exit button and here you have to connect the 12 volt power supply. So this port is for the RS-485 communication and you can see this is the temper uh, button for the temper alarm purpose. Inside main menu, lot of options are there. So user management here you can add the user, you can delete and delete the user details in the user management. In the user role you can create the multiple role for the device operational purpose. In the com menu, anything like settings related to the Ethernet and uh, anything like cloud server setting, we can set up everything you have to go for the com menu. In the system, you can change the date and time, attendance settings and the fingerprint settings and uh, you can do the device reset. Here in the personalized option, anything related for the user interface and uh, voice settings and bell schedules and uh, once at enabling option everything you will get in the personalize. In the data management you will be having the uh, delete data and you can take the backup from the device and you can restore the data to the device. Access control here uh, you will be having the options like access control option you can do settings for the related access control and uh, time schedule you can create access group you can create combined verification and anti passback. In the USB manager, you can download the data and you can upload uh, anything through the USB. Attendance search, by entering the user ID of a particular employee, you are able to fetch the data of a particular employee transactions. In the auto test, you can test the device uh, features like uh, fingerprint sensor is working uh, properly or not. You can test and uh, LCD also you can test, keypad, everything you can test in the auto test. In the system info, you will be getting the information regarding the device capacity and uh, device related things and uh, device info you will be getting here and firmware details also will be getting in the system info. So uh, this device we can connect with the ZK Teco softwares like Easy Time Pro, Easy WDMS, Intelligent Time kind of softwares. This is all about F19 standalone device. Thank you.